There's some new information revealed about Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. This game was so bad that Warner Brothers ended up losing over $200 million. <laughs> a $200 million loss right here. A big fat L for DC. That is sad. Even the CEO of Warner Brothers admits how much of a disappointment this game was. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League was a financial fucking failure for Warner Brothers, and it's their own fault. And the sad thing is, it did not have to be this way. Warner Brothers could have made a good Suicide Squad game. Instead of going after the Justice League, they could have had the Suicide Squad fight new villains. They could have had you switch between the Justice League and the Suicide Squad throughout the story. Kind of like the Transformers games where you switch between the Autobots and the Decepticons. I think that would have been a better idea. But instead, Warner Brothers teams up with Sweet Baby Inc. They copied The Last of Us Part 2. They have Kevin Conroy's Batman die in such a stupid manner. Same with all the other Justice League members. The only one that had a good death was Wonder Woman, and it's because she went down fighting. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League was a disaster. You know what else was a disaster? That Joker DLC that came out over a month ago, that was a fucking flop. Nobody played it. This is what happens when you insult and disrespect a fan base. Nobody's going to want to play your trash. Suicide Squad Killed the Justice League is a failure for Warner Brothers, and they're getting exactly what they deserve. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. Give this video a like. Be sure to follow my Instagram, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.